Yes, please wait two minutes. Wait. Hey guys, am I audible? Yes, Dinesh, you are audible. Okay, so quickly confirm also. So there is a one minute. Let me try to share my screen. Okay. Is that my screen is visible for you guys also? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Right, guys. Yeah, but can I previous session end up on it? I am Rolls. I am Rolls. Now, we will see you are a sharp one. Uh, regarding it will be sharpened and correct then I am rule uh, I am oriented a uh, task with the Nana are and you are sharpening and you are sharpening the type of the task and a great funny I am group I am rule I am user easy to order attach funny less three bucket you know funding lab and it's the fundamental generation make you type under okay others Aman Fatima Emmanuel Saran with fish Nina Sorry, bro. I no, the class park. I am part of the assignment. I am going to watch up. Sharing. Matta, matta. Okay. Watch up. Send something, sir. I have link. I have the chat box. I have the link. You link to the group. You post something. I am going to post something. Just post it in WhatsApp. Ah, uh, okay, then. Okay. Matta, matta. Sharing a panana with but the practice panana. 
டாஸ்க் பண்ணாதான் கரெக்டா இருக்கும் கிளாஸ் வீடியோ பார்த்து என்ன பெனிஃபிட் இருக்கு ரைட்டுங்க இந்த விட்லேஷன் ஸோ நம்ம அடுத்த சர்வீஸ் மூவ் ஆகலாம் விச் இஸ் விர்ச்சுவல் பிரைவேட் கிளவுட் அகைன் இட் இஸ் அனதர் யுவர் ஏடபிள்யூஎஸ் சர்வீஸ் ஐ வில் ஆஸ்க் யூ சம் கொஸ்டின் பிஃபோர் ஐ நோ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் திஸ் ஒன் Did you remember we have covered a topic called user data? Did you all remember actually user data? EC2 user data. In advanced settings, we made user data. Did you remember or not? And yes, correct Aman. Well, it is for automation. Suppose if you have a number of machines, right? where if you want to configure some kind of software i cannot go individually i cannot concentrate so that time we can go for user data fine I'll leave it so someone asked in the group that's the reason i asked this someone asked me privately that's the reason i asked remember user data is nothing but sometime in a single shot or while creating the ec2 instance itself i want to maybe install some software into the multiple ec2 servers and all at that time you know we can uh, write the user data it's a kind of a script we can write it fine so remember guys suppose i want to design some product when i say product is software right i want to design some product i need to design some software obviously you know there are four important bundle that you have to remember the one is we have to focus on compute right a compute service you have to focus on always remember when you design a product you need a requirement of compute service and also you need to focus on the storage part then we required a database along with that you need the networking also so these are the four pillar or four fundamental of designing any product whenever a company or a project an it company if they are designing any product you know they will concentrate on this four parameter or four uh, pillar one is compute another one is storage the third one is database fourth one is network as we know as part of your compute i already covered ec2 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 is one of the compute service and we have covered the storage also earlier recently we have covered s3 bucket it is also one of the storage service that we have covered a database we will cover actually wait for a while we will cover the database uh, in today's session we are going to concentrate on a networking part which is nothing but the pc it is nothing but the pc virtual private cloud if you ask me what is the abbreviation of your the pc it is a virtual private uh, cloud virtual a uh, private cloud so what is the purpose of first of all what is the purpose of networking you already seen guys and networking also see suppose i will i will tell you where you have seen this term right i can go to my browser and i open my aws.amazon.com and i can sign into the console also suppose let me uh, create one ec2 instance while creating the instance while creating one new instance from your aws cloud you know here already we have seen one option called security group uh, sorry network settings under the network settings we have a network which is the default network which is vpc right so when i click on this edit you can able to select uh, multiple vpc but again in default it got selected with some vpc we just moved on that's the reason we don't know whether uh, we have worked with a vpc or not we already know vpc when i create the ec2 instance there is a term called vpc but before that if you want to understand the vpc the basic fundamental is what is networking what is networking guys what is meant by networking connecting multiple computers together mm -hmm. what is
So Yuvraj mentioned correct actually. Whatever the Yuvraj said, right? It's nothing but you know connection of or connecting, connecting two or more devices, right? Two or more device or machine or together, right? That machine may be a computer. That machine may be a computer, or it might be a server, or it might be a printer, or any mobile devices, whatever it might be. So that you know, they can they can communicate and and share the share the resources or share resources with each other. For that reason only, we are getting the term called a networking, right? So networking is nothing but two or more devices or a computer system or a mobile device. They can communicate with each other and right? They can communicate with each other. Or maybe among other things also. No? Other things. So that's nothing but a networking. So thereby we can be able to share our data we can access the internet and communicate with, e with each other. So networking can be done using you know, various technology. We have a wide connection and we have a wireless connection and they can be done on a small scale like uh, such as like home or maybe office or you can take it as a larger scale application also like data center across the internet. Right? That's nothing but a networking. So VPC, it also going to deal with a networking. Simple term, there is an interaction, there is an interaction or communication or any, any integration between the two systems. That time, you know, your networking will play a lot. So networking will play a lot. Now, if you ask me, what is VPC? In simple terminology, I can explain VPC is the virtual private cloud. It is a kind of a private private room in a library. They can call like this. Right? Private room in a library. Where, you know, uh, where we can study and access the books. Suppose consider like in your school or in your college, you have a private library, right? Maybe you have a public library and private library also. Some school and college. They will provide, they will pay, when they when we pay extra money, they will give the private room in a library where we can study and access our books. And, but nobody, you know, but nobody can enter without permission, right? Can enter, maybe without permission. Without the permission. In the same way, your VPC is also a private a virtual network actually. VPC is nothing but a private, a virtual network where we can launch our AWS resources. When I say resources, maybe EC2 or S3, VPC, or some other, right? EBS, EFS, that are all AWS resources, right? So what we can do? In virtual private network, we can able to launch our AWS resources and connect them securely with each other on the internet. So using the VPC, we can launch, we can launch our AWS resources, AWS resources, and we can connect them, we can connect them with each other, we can connect them with each other, but in the isolated manner, remember, there is an isolated between these two systems, suppose S3 is going to communicate with EC2. EC2 is going to communicate with some other system. Whatever the interaction between this system, it is in virtual, thereby we will get the isolation. Isolation means always it is a security, right? Imagine, imagine uh, you are working with some school project. For that, you are designing one website. Suppose imagine you are setting up a website for your school project. For that, we can create a VPC to launch your web browser, to launch your database, and restrict them using the security group, right? That's like how you, you would lock the door to your study room, right? Every individual room, we can lock it, right? That way we can have the isolation. That's the purpose of, you know, virtual private cloud. So VPC 
it is one of the secured way where you can have the interaction between the different resources, but there is the isolation between the systems. Are you getting my point? What is BPC? So VPC talks about isolation between the systems. Yes, I'm expecting your response actually. Will you be able to understand what is VPC? Yes, yes, yes. So consider VPC, it's a private room in a library where we can study and access our book. But nobody can able to enter that particular room without the permission. In the same way, a VPC is a private virtual network where we can launch our AWS resources and connect them securely with each other in the isolated manner. So that's the reason I have given. Whenever if you launch any application, right? Here we have to use the servers. Here we have to use the database. But what you are restrict one resource which will communicate with other resource effectively, securely, because all are isolated. How? With the help of your VPC. So, remember what is VPC. Now, there is one more terminology I just want to help you out guys. What is mean by subnets? Do you know what is mean by subnets? What is subnets? Guys, first of all, we need to understand few terminology. Later, we will go for VPC part. What is subnets? IP addresses fit panna adukku keela irukra addresses okay okay good others you know you have any idea with respect to subnet containers okay no problem and okay no problem let's say Let's say, you know, uh, I will tell you an example, listen, thereby you will understand, right, listen. Let's say you have a home network, right, in home we are all using the network, right, maybe a Wi-Fi, whatever it might be, you can consider. Let's say you have a home network with uh, several devices, including you have a desktop computer and you have a laptop, you have a, a smartphone and a printer and all, right. So you have a many devices in your home. Now, your internet service provider, you know, as assigned your network a single IP address. Let's say, let's say, say suppose in your home, in your home, you have a different, a different devices, right? Say I have a computer I have and I have a laptop in my home and also I have a printer and I have a smartphone also. Now, your ISP, internal service provider, like Happy, whoever it is, right? They will assign you a network, right? They will assign you a network, a single IP address, maybe consider like 192.168.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.
for your laptop and smartphone say for smartphone and for your laptop you can create one more subnet also say 192.168 point point and maybe 1.1 slash 24 right like that you can create a subnet you can divide your network here i have divided my network into two parts one subnet is for my desktop and printer another subnet another subnet for my smartphone and laptop this would you know create two smaller network within your home network it will create what two smaller network within your home network with their own unique ip address range right right am i correct or not for this desktop and printer this is the ip address for your smartphone and the laptop this is your ip address so you could then configure your router to route your traffic between the subnets as needed suppose if you want to uh, uh, configure some router you know now to route your traffic between the subnet then we need the router and all but what is the idea behind your subnet here you can divide your network into multiple subnet based on the location and type of devices you are using consider like this is my example number one i will tell you in large scale company also in real time suppose let me take one example two Suppose uh, you are working in some uh, MNC company, kind of an IT industry, larger organization with a multiple department and thousands of devices, right? Thousands of devices. Subnetting can be used to, you know, here we can create the smaller network that are easier to manage and secure, right? For an example, uh, your IT department might create a subnet for their server. What your IT department can do? They can create some subnet for the server. Right? Because they have many servers inside the local data center. For that, it records a network, right? Maybe they can create one subnet. And the another subnet for their network printers. Because they have the printers on top. For that, they will create yeah, one more network, one more subnet. And for each department, maybe for finance department, for marketing department, for human resource department, everything, they will create a separate subnet also. So by creating the subnet, the IT department can limit right, the amount of traffic that flows between the different parts of the network, right, which can improve your performance and security also. Instead of you know one subnet, it is going to distribute across the entire company. What we can do? We can split your network into the multiple subnet. Thereby, we can able to limit the amount of traffic that flows between the different parts of your network. So they can also apply a different security policy to each subnet based on specific need of each department. For an example, like uh, the finance subnet might have uh, maybe a, a stricter access control, right? And logging the marketing subnet. When compared to your marketing subnet, uh, you have a finance subnet that should be have the protective data. We have to protect the sensitive data. Then we can add more rules, right? Through the security group. So that's the purpose of subnet. In, in one network that we are dividing into the multiple subnets. Multiple subnets. So it's a kind of, uh, it's like a neighborhood in a city, guys. It is like a neighborhood in a city where, you know, houses are grouped together based on their location and the purpose, right? In a VPC also, we can create the subnet or use it to group your instances together based on their network requirement and already zone. Suppose, imagine uh, we are building a shopping mall, right? We are building a shopping mall and we want to allocate a specific area for different stores, right? In a shopping mall, we have many stores. Maybe cloth store we have and we have a laptop store we have and maybe uh, some other stores also, right? So for that, what we can do? We can create a subnet in your VPC to group the instances based on their function like web server, application server, database server, just like how you would allocate the space for a different stores in your mall also that basically we can call it as subnet are you clear what is subnet yes, yes can you confirm what is subnet yes yes, yes Dinesh. yeah possible others okay so subnet simply we can call we are just dividing your network into the multiple parts 
based on the location, based on the device, based on the availability zone, based on the limitation, based on the rule, whatever it might be. But here we are dividing our network into the multiple parts. That's nothing but a subnet. Okay, fine. Now we have one more terminology. Routing tables. Anyone knows what is mean the routing tables? Particular IP on the correct on our destination to route under mean oh, redirect under read uh, IP address on the redirect under mm, correct correct router Adil Ravarti na pesi right then what is routing table see suppose it's like you know it is like you can consider routing table is like a map. You can consider like it's like a map. See, suppose, imagine you are driving from uh, your home to your friend house. You don't know where the friend house is located. What basically we will do? We can take a map, right? In Google map. We can get to know that which road I need to take to get there, right? We need to take a map to know which roads that to take to get there. So that's the purpose of a map, right? Similarly, using the routing table, we can tell our instance, right? Our EC2 instance or our resources in one subnet how to reach an instance in the another subnet. Suppose there is a instance in one subnet, that instance wants to talk with another instance in another subnet. We can go for routing table. Routing table is like a map that tells how to get from one place to another. In a VPC, routing table that are used to direct your traffic between the subnet and to the internet. So it's like a map to direct you from one place to another place. One subnet, we have an instance. This instance wants to communicate with other instance in another subnet. So how it will play, how it will travel through the routing table only through the routing table only, remember. So if anyone is asking what is routing table, it's a kind of, it's a kind of, it is used by actually a router that should determine, you know, the best path for forwarding our network traffic. But, you know, I need to talk more about the routing table. As of now, it's like a map. One EC2 instance wants to communicate with other instance, definitely through the IP address only. But how it is communicating through the routing table only. Everyone clear with this? What is routing table? Yes, Dinesh. Okay. Fine. Now, the another terminology is what do you understand from this term? What is security group? Firewall. What the security group? Hmm? Firewall. Exactly. It's a fire firewall. Uh, if you want some example, it's a kind of a bouncer. You know, right at the, every party who checks, you know, uh, suppose everyone ID, you know, before letting them in. Suppose if you are entering some party, some bouncer, you know, they will always check your ID. They will check always whether uh, you have, you know, already, you already, you know, as to come here or not, they will check it right in the same way. In security group, it's a kind of a browser that every party we can check the everyone ID before letting them. So in a VPC, you know, security group are used to, to control your inbound and outbound traffic to your instance. Which traffic that should be allowed from other resources to your EC2, which traffic should be going out from your EC2 to other resources. For that reason, in VPC, we need the security group. So we want to make sure only your friends can enter. We can For that only we can have a, a bouncer, right? Similarly, a security group control your inbound and outbound traffic to your instance based on their IP address and port number, just like bouncer that I said, remember. Security group, which traffic should be allowed? from inbound and output traffic, outbound traffic to your instance. 
it will control it will control your inbound and outbound traffic outbound traffic to your instance this is nothing but your security group so far you are clear everyone clear guys so far okay so what we have done so far we know what is virtual private cloud and we already know what is routing table networking we have done and i have given some examples also security groups also i know so now tell me finally i will have one more discussion what is meant by vpn guys what is virtual private network plus guys what is the purpose of vpn physical device illama virtual ips configure pandrathu dinesh okay okay can you tell me some use case for your vpn any real time use cases for your vpn when you will go for vpn na yeah, okay so fine real time la vandu namba india la illa vera or country la irundhu namba net access pandra maadhiri proxy proxy port use pandrathu okay correct you are correct evraj so this vpn is a kind of the secure mechanism to connect your two or more devices or a network over the internet say suppose let me take a remote access the remote access so commonly you know you know right remote access that's where you know we will all virtual network common state virtual network for one client and it is logically isolated from other correct 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 okay. so yeah so vpn you know uh, we will use in the remote access where you know employee or contractor can securely access our corporate network and resources from outside the office for an example suppose a sales person traveling abroad can use a vpn right to connect to their company network and access the customer information or sales data so instead of you know directly accessing the particular data we can connect through the vpn virtual private network thereby we can access our corporate data because it's a very sensitive data protective data so the fundamental is yes of course you know to secure the communication right here we are securing the communication so this is particularly important for organizations that handle a sensory data like financial data or medical information for an example if you take hospital might use a vpn to securely you know transfer the uh, maybe a patient data between the different department or hospital and all then obviously you know they will go for they will go for vpn sometime you know i will go for geo booking also geo blocking geo blocking a vpn you know can be used to bypass a, a geo restriction on certain website or services for an example someone in a country where a, a certain streaming service is not available right one particular service is not available for particular country we can use a vpn right to connect to a server in a country where the service is available and access it as they they are located in the country this is what you know uh, yuvraj also mentioned hey, this is what you are also mentioning yuvraj you are this is what you are saying geo blocking so not available hello others i'm already yes 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 okay so geo blocking is nothing but like uh, um, uh, uh, that's what i mentioned like uh, suppose uh, someone in a country where a uh, particular service it is not available what we can do we can use a vpn to connect to that particular server in a country where the service is available and access it as if they were located in the country and the main purpose for vpn is yes of course it's it's a secure remote connection you know securely we can connect our remote office or maybe a branches to a company main network so this allows you know the employee in different location they can access the shared resources and work together as if they were in the same physical location right same right in physical same location they will work through the vpn so overall i can say vpn uh, like both you know if you go with the personal or professional setting 
are becoming you know every day uh, we we need a remote access and rely on you know digital co communication collaboration between the tools yes of course you know the company they are go with the vpn virtual private network so virtual okay. private virtual private network is like uh, it's like a tunnel guys it's like a tunnel that connects you know two places securely over the internet simple it is a kind of a tunnel right it's a kind of tunnel that connects two places securely over the internet in your vpc you know a vpn can be used to connect your uh, on premises network and to your vpc see if you have your on premises network on premises network and and you are connecting through the vpc how you are connecting with the help of this vpn only example you are sending a secret message to your friend but you don't want to anyone else to read it what you can do we can use a tunnel right to connect your computer directly to your friend computer so you know nobody else can see the message similarly your vpn connect your on premises network to your vpc so you can securely transfer the data between them without exposing to the internet even internet without exposing it to the internet that's the purpose of your vpn virtual private network are you getting my point what is virtual private network uh, finish it when you connecting two places motto illa la client oda desktop other device you connect pandrad thana vpn ama ama Okay. without exposing it to the internet simple okay. any question so far guys any question so far non english okay okay right guys so uh, i am having some throat problem i am not able to continue today so so far uh, i have given only a terminology actually what is vpc what is mean networking i have given some example along with the routing table security group and uh, vpn we have covered so i will share some notes you can go through you can read that notes that way we will get some idea Uh, still, we haven't started the VPC. Tomorrow we will start the VPC, and we will see the demonstration. But there are next to two sessions. It is related to VPC. After that, we will go for next year of the service. Fine, guys. We'll see tomorrow. Fine. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you, guys.